Gee, it is great to be alive. Oh, uh, good morning, Jan. Oh, hi. Uh, no school today? No, nope. I've got some work to do on my science project. Oh, uh, mind if I tag along? Okay. Well, this is fantastic. Truly fantastic. Did you do all this yourself? Sure. Oh, well, Berquitlam's very proud of you, Jan. We're lucky to have you. Yes, I'd say that our town's future lies right here with our youth. And what is this? Uh, cyclotron. Huh? What? Power source for common household appliances. Can openers, spaceships, knife sharpeners, that sort of thing. Oh, thrilling. Yeah, well, I've been kind of held up in the propulsion department. See, you take the sine curve squared, multiply it by its root coefficient. Once the molecular synergy reaches its critical mass, you, you like inject some chemicals. Chemicals? I use a lot of chemicals, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What for? Well, I pour them on the meat scraps, and they turn those little molecules into a, a greenish liquid. Yeah? I'd like to see that. Yes, Jan, we live in a chemical world. We have chemically treated yarns. Chemical fertilizer stimulates plant growth. Insecticides check pest destruction. Linoleum, uranium, plutonium, insanium, acid, alkali, red dye, goodbye. The water we drink is purified by chlorine. Chemically created explosions mine our minerals. Chemistry plays a vital role in modern medicine and in the treatment of steel. Chloride, chlorine, butatating, anodine, DDT, DNA, MSD, and CIA, neon, oragon, freon, solar. It is essential in the production of paper and leather, acid, sporting ammunition, freon for refrigerators, salt, soap, paint, cellophane, and plastics. Dying with your gasoline, thorium in your vaseline, thiamine, niacin, lead, barium, chromium, in word, red. Yes, we live in a chemical world. Chemistry never stands still. First it creates, then it improves. 